Luzzasco Luzzaschi is one of the top class composers of the late Renaissance. Today he is known, if at all, only thanks to his Concerto delle Donne, a small ensemble of virtuoso female singers that he established at the Deste court in Ferrara. However, he did much more than that. For more than three decades, Luzzaschi was responsible for much of the musical activities at the court and composed a lot of great music in different genres. In this new city, we aim to present this almost unknown composer in all his splendor and variety. Most of the pieces are recorded here for the very first time. Lutsaski's compositions and counterpoint style are highly refined. He was a student of the great Cipriano de Rore, and in his turn he was the mentor of Carlo Gesualdo and the teacher of Girolamo Frescobaldi. These connections, in addition to the praise he received from his contemporaries, put him in a very central position in the history of music. Whenever possible, when we sing music from the 16th century, we read from the same notation that the musicians at that time used, part books. That is, every singer only sees his line, and therefore must listen very carefully to what the others are singing, as well as count very well. In this manner, you have the whole music and text on one page in front of you, and it helps you to grasp the piece as a whole. Eventually, we might learn the music by heart, but the process and the visual memory of the piece is very important. An especially interesting madrigal by Luzzaschi is Guivi Sospiri. It's a rare setting of an excerpt from Dante's Inferno. The poetry describes the sounds heard when entering the gates of hell. Guivi Sospiri, pianti ed alti guai risonavan per l'aer senza stelle per ch'io al cominciarne lagrimai. Luzzaschi sets this harsh text in a very strong manner. He uses daring chromatic counterpoint that inspired composers such as Carlo Gesualdo and Claudio Monteverdi, and in fact a whole generation of composers. With this city, we hope to share the beautiful and highly refined music of Litsaski and bring this almost unknown music to light. Yeah. Yeah.